Hi everyone. I am removing my St. Patrick's Day Jam Cure and I am currently using the coconut oil method with a floss pick. You see I've already gotten started. This was my this is about a week old. St. Patrick's Day is over East on to Easter. So um so most people um, don't know how to remove their wraps and a lot of people don't have our nail wrap and lacquer remover but a lot of people do have you know a jar of coconut oil or um, vegetable oil or almond oil or or whatever so um, so these are you can use any of these things I happen to be using coconut oil it doesn't have to be completely uh, liquid it can be a little bit solid um, you can use a cuticle stick to break your seals, and by break your seals, I mean, you know, you're gonna go around your nail, you're gonna lightly break the seal all the way around. You can do that to all your nails before you start this process. So, let me show you what you do next. And I've already gotten started, so let's check it out. Okay. So, I've already done these, um, I've put some paper towel down, I've got my coconut oil here, um, I don't know if you can see these, I'll move them, these were all my, my jams I had on, um, and I've broken the seal on this, so I'm going to work my floss pick, and I'm using a floss pick, you can use a cuticle stick if you want, but I feel like a floss pick is more gentle, at least for me and you just want to gently start working it under there you don't ever want to force it you should just you know almost like it's a weird little saw right so and you want to remove your wraps from side to side not from bottom to up uh, you're more likely you can help break the seal a little down this way but you really want to keep a side-to-side -side motion. And there are some benefits to using coconut oil, or any oil, I guess, is that, but specifically coconut oil is, uh, of course, all the nutrients that you're getting uh, directly on your nail and into your cuticle when you're doing this, because let's just be real, this is not this is not a clean process or if someone's got a way to make this clean let me know because I've not figured it out so um, and I don't typically remove my wraps this way but if I run out of my nail wrap and lacquer remover I go to this but you know a lot of people don't have that yet so or a lot of people want to stick with the natural um, process so you know this is your alternative so I'm working side to side being very gentle I'm not forcing it I'm dipping my my floss pick if I feel like I need a little bit more oil under there you don't want your nail to peel so that's why you work gently now I'm showing you my thumb because my thumb is notoriously my most difficult wrap to get off here notoriously now this is a bit longer takeoff process but it works see my hands are a little oily but you know I'm also nourishing them so I'm gonna do one or one or two more on this hand that way I've already broken all my seals over here with my with my cuticle stick so I'm gonna do a couple more um, removals here with my coconut oil and then we didn't break this one well enough and then I want to show you because I have it sitting right here see you just want to I want to show you after a couple of these uh, the nail wrap and lacquer remover and um, and the difference in this but a lot of people will order wraps and not have a and not get the nail wrap and lacquer remover right away until they get to the removal process and they're like, oh wait a minute, how do I do that? So, uh, you know, 
I want people to know that they have options, alternatives, there's something at home you can probably use that you probably already have. So, that's where we're at. I already have all this stuff. Someone asked me specifically, hey, how do I do this? So, here we are. Now I'm working from this side because I got tired of that side. Oops. Just like a weird mini floss saw, right? So, there we go. That came off. All right. We'll do one more with this so our video is not super crazy long. I just want to feel like you got the idea, so... So side to side, always side to side, no matter what method you're using for removal, you want to remove from one side to the other. You don't want to do from cuticle to the tip of the nail because you will increase your chance of peeling your nail accidentally that way. And you know, this is, this is not a painful process, it's very easy. I'm doing something wonderful for my hands at the same time, so, you know. Of course, if you use some kind of oil to um, take your jams off, you're going to want to wait a while before you apply new ones. <laughs> um, because I feel like this is very obvious, but, you know, you're putting oil all over your hands, so wait. Let those bad boys... Do what they're gonna do. Maybe you prep your nails instead. See? All right, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna get a paper towel here. I'm gonna off my hands because they are super oily. Okay, move this up a little bit. Okay, so you saw that process. It was really easy. I've done seven of my fingers that way. Next, I want to show you is our nail wrap and lacquer remover. It comes in this. Uh, it's got a cool pump bottle cap here. This is our new one. For those of you who have the older one, this is what the new one looks like. So uh, I'm going to re-break my seals here. I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to re-break my seals real quick just in case my own body heat made them. Okay, we're just going to right around the nail here. Thumb, notoriously hard nail. Okay, so now we're going to take our pump cap and take our cotton ball and open that up first. We're just going to do this. My cotton ball is saturated. I'm going to find where my, my seal is broken here. And I'm going to start gently working this wrap off with my saturated cotton ball. Where are you, friend? There we go. See? This is my favorite, favorite, favorite removal method. Check that out. How fast was that, huh? For another pump there. Do the same thing. So you want to do the same thing, right? You want to go side to side. This one's a little... There we go. Sometimes you got to get the... I actually just ran out of cotton rounds. I like cotton rounds for this a little better. But see, same deal, right? I just... How easy was that? And my notoriously hard thumbs. Actually even a little hard. So you're just taking your cotton ball, you're not forcing anything. You're just rubbing it back. And see, even my thumbs take a little bit longer with this. But it's still quick. Alright, see? Now I'm going to go over my nails with the rest of this because I had strengthening base on under my jams and this is nail wrap and lacquer removal so that's what, yeah that was pretty easy right I, I feel like it's a pretty straightforward process um, either way I mean either way is effective one obviously is a little bit quicker than the other um, our nail wrap and lacquer remover is non-acetone based so um, 
I don't want anyone to feel like they have to worry about that. And it's, you know, it's got a ton of vitamin E in it. So uh, this will also nourish your nails. Um, it's the best polish remover I've used. If you're using gel over your wraps, you can soak your fingers for like seven minutes and it will dissolve everything off. Um, it's kind of neat. So um, it's very versatile. I love it. There's a refill bottle available now that's twice this size. So um, worth it in my opinion. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have questions.